Okay, YouTube Nation, it is optional Monday, as we can see. We are missing one, two, three, at least three people. Um, and that's all right. We know that other people have some very important things. Maybe jury duty. Who knows, right? <laughs> Probably not till you're 18, right? So, oh, well. Maybe, 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 yeah, maybe Maddie has jury duty right now. Jury duty, jury duty, jury duty. From the Grinch, you get it? Okay. <laughs> Got it. No, okay. Judge Judy. So today what we want to do is we want to find the area of a triangle, but we're going to use a different method than you're used to. What is the formula that you're used to using for area of a triangle? Very good. One half times base times height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a triangle. I'm going to call this angle A. This is the second page of your notes. Angle B and angle C. If you notice, a lot of the assignments that you've had lately have a spot for area, but you haven't been able to fill it out, have you? So that's just due to some of the shortened days that we've had and some of the e-learning that we've had. I've not been able to get this lesson in. So it fits in today. This is my fallback day. If I never need a day to get this in, this is when it happens. Um, so this is side A, uh, this is side C, and that's side B. Now, in the triangles we've been talking about as of late, um, they're, they're not right triangles, are they? We've been talking about oblique triangles. You, so you can't use Sokotoy, you got to use the law of sines, law of cosines, things of that nature. Well, if you notice the area formula you've always been given, one half base times height, that's always been if you have a right triangle. Well, what if we don't have a right triangle? Yeah, we've got to figure something else out. And so we have this wonderful thing here. We, we drop an altitude for a height, and I want you to focus on those right there. Okay. Give me a trigonometric function that has to do with those three things. Sine. The sine of C is equal to what? H over A. So I can solve for H by multiplying by A. So A times the sine of angle C is equal to H. Well, if this is equal to H, then I take it and I drop it right there. And then come up with a new formula. And this is a formula that is used all the time in the real world. It's, it's nicer than the one-half base times height. Area is equal to one-half times A times B times the sine of angle C. On your decision tree that we've been going over, I give you all three formulas for triangles. It's right here. I never use these formulas. What I do is I think about the concept. The concept is very simple. Pay close attention and it'll all make sense. A, B, sine of C. What would we call, what kind of triangle would we call that? From the six different triangles that we chose from, given sides and angles, what would we call that? Side, angle, side. As long as you have a side, a side, and an included angle, side, angle, side, you can find the area. You take one half times the two sides times the sine of the included angle. It's as simple as that. So watch this situation here. You're given a triangle that has an angle of 75 degrees for A. Call this B, call this C. So I've got 15 and 12. And at first glance, you might say, well, there's no way that that's enough information to find the area of that triangle. Well, it turns out it is enough information. All we do is one half times 12, times 15, times the sine of 75 degrees. Point 0.5 times 12, times 15, times the sine of 75, dot, 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 86.93. Would you agree that that was pretty easy? Here's what's really cool about it. Not only is it easy, but you can actually use it to verify and check your answers when you're working through triangles. Take out your assignment Friday. I know you at least got two or three problems of those done. Good job, Sam. On Friday, you were given this assignment, side, 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 and side, side angle, side, using the law of cosines. If you did the assignment correctly, you should come up with angle A being 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.77, 55.
B being 41-41, C being 82-82. Is that what you got? Great. I'm going to draw out that triangle, A, B, C. Call it A, 55.77. B is 41.41. C is 55, whoop, 82-82. And then I have side C is 12, side B is 8, side A is 10. We are going to show you how you can verify your answer. I'm going to find the area three different ways. You guys right here, you are the blue group. You got it? You're going to use angle C. So you're going to use these two sides and that angle. Find the area and check with one another. You guys are the red group. You're going to do angle B. So you choose those two sides and that angle. You guys are group green. You guys are going to do angle A, 55.77, so you're going to use the sides 12 and 8. Multiply, find the area, check with a partner, and verify that you have the same thing. Okay, please glance up here. You have 39.69. Notice how when we checked it three different ways, we came up with the same area. Now note that because of our rounding differences, we might come up with, say, 39.68, 39.67. So give room to have some movement on the hundreds there. But you should be right to the tenth, generally speaking. should be about 99.9% .9 accurate. Okay. Now, um, I did share this with a, a different class, you know, two other classes. And a couple people did mention, you know, I said, that would be a lot of work. Uh, you know, because I said, if, if you get this type of problem on the test, you want to see if this is the correct solution for a triangle, you could check the area three different ways. Um, I bet you could check that within a matter of uh, 40 seconds. I, I don't think it would have to take that much time. And uh, a couple people said, well, it's more time than I'm willing to spend. And I said, that's okay, but I don't know about you guys, but I really like to know if my answers are right or wrong. I really like to know that. And so what a great way to check to verify. Does that make sense? So, let's do the first problem today. I'm going to give you your worksheet. Okay, so for your very first triangle, we're given uh, angle A is 24, angle B is 68, and then we have a side of 12.2. So here's the basis for today's assignment. I'm not telling you if it's the law of sines. I'm not telling you if it's the law of cosines. You have to figure that out. You have to use your decision tree. So we start with identifying the type of triangle that we have. Which of the six triangles are we given? What's that? Angle, angle, side. Ishika is correct. So everybody agree? Angle, angle, side. So, and your decision tree says if you're given angle, angle, side, it's just one solution. Use the law of sines and be done. So, I can be confident that there's no situation where I get a double uh, triangle set or uh, no solution set. I'm simply going to solve this triangle by using the law of sines. Which one should I find first up here? Which side or angle? Let's find angle C. All the angles need to add up to 180, and so this comes out to be 82 degrees. Everybody on the same page there? Now I'm going to find angle B. Sine of angle A, 24 degrees. D Sorry, 88. Uh, I was going based off of memory from the other classes. Thank you. We do all make mistakes. Just when I make it, you guys hold me down and make me feel horrible. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Just having a little bit of fun. Okay, so I'm going to cross multiply. Hopefully, you, you've you become really quick at this, haven't you? So, 12.2 sine of 68 divided by sine of 24, uh, 27, 80, 81 for side B, 27.81. And now to find C, I set up the same piece. Sine of 24 over 12.2 is equal to the sine of 88 divided by C. Hey, isn't it interesting that that's the same exact formula as the previous one? 
What's the only thing that's different? The angle measure, right? So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a tiny shortcut here. Not a big shortcut, a little shortcut. I'm going to take that same entry I had. I'm just going to change the 68 to 88. And, uh, okay, so Ishika, somebody said the exact thing. They said if I were to do it on a test, I'd make a mistake with it. Uh, you do it however you want, but that's, that's how I operate, 29.98. I do make mistakes, make many of them. And now we just determine the area. So you get choice here. I don't tell you what to do. You get choice. Tim, would you like angle A, B, or C? You choose. Tim would like to use angle B. That means that he needs 12.268 and then something over here. And we know that that is 29.98. So he's going to take those three, 0.5 times 29.98 times 12.2 times the sine of 68. Multiplies all those together, 169.56. And that's the area. Nice, huh? You should now be experts at solving any kind of triangle that you would see. I'm going to give you a very small application piece because this is what we're going to look at later on. I, I want you to, to really appreciate it. Anybody live in the country here? Okay, how many acres? 10? Too many, can't count that high. Okay, 1,000 acres, okay? Um, is it important for tax purposes to know how much land you own? Probably, because you pay taxes on that land, right? So I want to be clear. We go out to your place, and suppose we have a shape of land that looks like this. Well, that's a quadrilateral. Not a square, not a rectangle, possibly not even a trapezoid. So how on earth do we begin to find the area of something like that? I was a, I was a land surveyor during the summers. That's how I helped pay for college on my own. Uh, my dad uh, is part owner of a land surveying business, and here's what we would simply do. You cut it into two triangles. You find this angle. You find this angle. You just find the length of each side, and then you do one-half times both sides times sine, one half times both sides times so sine the angle, add them together, and there you have it. And that's what's done. Now, we had computer technology that would do it for us, but there's times when my dad was starting out, you would do all that by hand. And uh, there were times that our computers broke, and I had to do it by hand for people as well. So um, there is application without a doubt because we don't get nice shapes all the time in the real world. You have the rest of the hour to work on your stuff. You go get them. Matty Mad Dog Shy, Rachel Barra, and Parth. Parth, we hope you're doing well, buddy. And Parker, we hope you love the video.